Okay, people. So that, that today is uh, November twentieth, twenty twenty one. Oh, I don't know, it's about 2.30 in the morning. Do you see this? This is War Room 2, a.k.a. the sewing room. What do you think? Huh? It's not like the good old days. Well, actually it is. It's still kind of messy. There's Lucy's in April's box. That's, that's the goal now. I still have food to put away and that kind of stuff, but I'm not at the height of it. I'm at the end of it. So now I'm going to try and focus on wrapping these up. Right, but as you can see, it's kind of hard. So I just wanted to show you the conditions I work under. See, my heart's in the right spot. It's just, whew. and now with all this uh, closure of highways, and flooding and I don't know, I ordered something from Winnipeg, the powdered milk. We'll see. We'll see if it gets here. Uh, as far as I know, Canada Post is still open. Still open at this point. Look at this. How, how the hell are you supposed to do anything in here? All right, it's because my house is small. And then I sit here and I look at this, right? Let me put on my glasses. And I'm like, with all this flooding, people being flooded out of their homes, I try and put myself in their shoes and I'm thinking... As you know, they say, oh, everything's junk. And I just imagine if, like, if I got flooded out, people, I still wouldn't consider that junk. I'd wash it off, dry it off some way, somehow. Right. You could have a damp room, seriously, with things damp in it. You hang one light. That's all it takes. One light. One light bulb. Maybe two, just depending on the size of the room. But if it's a small room, you you put on one light, you're not going to get any mildew and mold. Things will just go into dormancy stage, a lot of it. Not everything will survive. Paper is a little more fragile, but stuff like this, oh, it could sit for months as long as you have that one light. Yeah. So I'm looking at this and I'm like walking down memory lane. Right? I've had this thing here for a long, long time. There's a feather on there. Do you see? Isn't that nice? And then this one I made. Do you see? That's a Canadian leaf. That's beaded. Onto leather. Right? That's when I lived at Gateway Place and I was working with the kids. And then I'd do that at night just to calm my nerves. <laughs> right? It's true. Right? Oh, I never get no time to sew people. Although I have to make something for Amari. I, I gotta make him some. I have to make him a leg brace. So that's another reason why I'm in here. I gotta clear off my table so I can make him a. A leg brace. Right. Here, wait on me for a second. I'm trying to get motivated. Not doing very well. I'm so tired. I ran into my neighbors over here, the Punjabi. The Punjabi young men over there. The ones that have the pipeline with me. I kind of caught them off guard and I said, see, see, I told you, right? And, go, uh, and, I, and I, I told them, I says, well, do you have any food? Or, or do you need food? Do you need food, right? Next door over here? No, we're good. I said, yeah, okay. But didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Just sitting up in Kamloops, a bunch of truckers, a lot of them Punjabi men. I'm stuck in town, can't leave. Right? And people are feeding them food. <laughs> because they're sleeping in their trucks, you know, for the most part. You know, maybe they're in a hotel, but it's not like people can afford to be paying for hotels. Stuck in Kamloops with a load full of goods. 
no way to get him out of town. <laughs> right? And you know, right? And the food out there is kind of uh, limited. <laughs> I guess they don't have a lot of food in the in the in the grocery stores <clears throat> because people just went off and bought, right? But um so right? Because they're all the major arteries, a lot of them are um the highways are just busted up. Like, I don't know what kind of rain went through this province, people. I really don't. I mean, we, we get heavy rains, but this is more than unusual, okay? Like, seriously. Too, mi too much infrastructure was damaged in terms of major highways. And whole towns, not just one, but a few of them. Right? Like smaller, real small towns. And then, you know, a little bigger, but not, not like a city, right? Like Merritt got completely um, evacuated. And then there was another little town out there that was a native band that got completely evacuated. Uh, so anyway, I told him, I said, I said, see, I told you, we have the pipeline, right? <laughs> So, we all chuckled about that, like the good old days, right? So anyway, I'm sitting here trying to get motivated. This doll, I'm going to try and sell. Oh, I'm just going to put it up on Facebook or something. I'll show you. Gotta start somewhere, right? Not that people want to be buying dolls right now. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> Hair is nice. Big. So, I get stuff like this out of here. Oh boy. Mm. One day at a time, right? That's pretty much all you can do. I, I get lots of, uh, Pine needles for tea. <laughs> My son. That's what he does for a living. I don't know why. He's really smart, but he chose to do that. I see you got your helmet on, eh? How can you see through that? How can you see through that? So it's dark. Mesh. Oh, it's mesh. Ah, that way. Over there, because it's going over the greenhouse. Just don't forget. A tad bit more if you could. He's trimming the Norway maple in the front, too. There's that little hummingbird. I guess I have to get some more food for it. It got big, that tree, eh? Hmm? That tree got big. It got big. Yeah. Yeah. In 10 years? That's what they do. Like, twice the size. Yeah. 
that um, walnut tree, black walnuts getting big too. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised at it. Yes, it did. No, it did that on its own. Yeah. I know. We didn't do this in the spring. There are hummingbirds flying around. <laughs> I think it lives in that tree, but we didn't do this in the spring and the summer because we didn't want to disrupt no babies. So hopefully that if it has a nest, it's more on the inside. Otherwise it's gonna have to make another one. But its babies will be safe next year. Uh, I have to wait for now. Oh boy, I got lots of moths. Thing is, this will all go back in the sweet time. She's going nuts. We'll get back to some bushes. There you go. Okay. What about over there? Just a little bit. No, right, like on the along the fence, just a bit. No. No, nah, I can't put the. There's no. <laughs> I don't want to be filmed. Okay. <laughs> 